Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to solve one-step equations using inverse operations. Recall, the goal to solving any equation is to isolate the variable using inverse operations. In other words, we want to get the variable all by itself. No hard feelings, X. We are just trying to solve an equation. You can stick around and help us out. Okay, let's get back to work. Remember, an inverse operation is just the opposite operation. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations, and multiplication and division are inverse operations. Let's go ahead and solve these equations. First, I like to draw a dotted line down through the equal sign. This will help me keep each side of the equation balanced. In order to isolate x, I must get rid of that 5 on the left-hand side. If we use the commutative property to rearrange the equation, we can write it as x plus 5 equal to 9. We can see that since 5 is positive, it can be viewed as adding 5 to x. I can use the inverse operation and subtract 5. Remember, what I do to one side of my equation, I must do to the other side. Doing this falls under the properties of equality. Think of it like a scale. Since both sides are equal to one another, they are completely balanced. What I add or take away from one side, I must add or take away the same amount on the other side to keep it balanced. All right, so I will subtract five on both sides. Five minus five on the left equals zero. Bring down the plus x equal to, okay, and on the right-hand side, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Since adding 0 doesn't change x, we can omit this number and write our solution as x equal to 4. Okay, let's take a look at x minus 3 equal to 8. I will draw my dotted line, and to isolate the variable, or get it by itself, I must get rid of that 3. Currently, I am subtracting 3. The inverse of subtraction is addition, so I must add 3 to get rid of it. If I subtract 3 and then I add 3, I've essentially undone what the 3 was trying to do in the first place. I will cross them out. I am left with x on the left-hand side. What I do to one side, I must do to the other side. x plus 3 is equal to 11. Always remember to bring down the equal sign. I see that x is equal to 11. Good job! Along the same lines, we will take a look at some equations that use multiplication and division. First, let's draw our dotted line. We can solve this equation using inverse operations as well. When a number such as the 6 is next to a variable, it tells us that we are multiplying 6 times x. So in order to isolate the variable, we will divide by x. Reduced, 6, 6 is just 1 over 1. We can write this as 1x. We have to keep the equation balanced, so we must also divide the right-hand side by 6 as well. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. Again, don't forget to bring down the equal sign. Lastly, since anything times 1 is equal to itself, 1 times x is just x, and so we can write x is equal to 3. Now, the equation on the right, I will start by drawing the dotted line. I see that we are dividing x by 3. Since the inverse of division is multiplication, I will multiply the left side by 3. It might help if I write this as a fraction. Multiplying through, I get 3x over 3. To keep the equation balanced, I will multiply the right-hand side by 3 as well. Negative 2 times 3 is equal to negative 6. Okay, almost there. Reducing the left-hand side, 3 over 3 becomes 1 over 1. We can write this as 1x or just x. x is equal to negative 6. Great! Okay, we're almost done. 
there's one last way that we are able to solve one-step equations. That would be through the use of the multiplicative inverse, or reciprocal. The multiplicative inverse is one of a pair of numbers that when multiplied with its pair is equal to one. For instance, one-fifth times five over one equals five over five, or one. We can say that five is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of one-fifth. Remember that as we jump into the next example. Take a look at this equation. We see one-third being multiplied by x. According to past examples, we should divide by one-third. But dividing by one-third is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse. I'll say that again. Dividing by one-third is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's go ahead and multiply to get 1x or just x. I have to keep my equation balanced, so I will multiply by 3 on the right-hand side as well to get 21. We see that x is equal to 21. To double-check our answer, we can always plug our solution back into our equation. In doing so, we get 1 third times 21 equal to 7. Since 1 third times 21 equals 7, we end up with 7 equal to 7, which is a true statement, and we've just verified that we got the correct answer. Okay, it's your turn. Solve each equation below by using inverse operations. To isolate x in part a, we will add 9. And to keep the equation balanced, we add 9 on the left-hand side as well. We are left with x on the right-hand side. On the left, 18 plus 9 is equal to 27. We see that 27 is equal to x, so our solution is 27. In part b, we must divide by 5 on both sides. The left side reduces to 1x, and 55 divided by 5 is equal to 11. The solution is 11. And lastly, in part c, we can multiply by the multiplicative inverse, or 3 halves, to get 1x on the left, or just x. Multiplying by 3 halves on the right gives us 6. We see that x is equal to 6. Good job! Mm -hmm.